We're dressed in our work clothes today, not let's make video clothes. It's uh, 30 days since we put the gable antenna out for its uh, weather exposure torture test. We're going to have to pull it down now because something more pressing has come about. We'll test it later. We'll hook it up with SWR, etc. assuming I still can operate from this property. Tropical Storm Ian is bearing down quickly. It is Sunday, September 25th, and by Tuesday of next week, uh, that hurricane is either going to hit the panhandle or if you follow the European model, it's coming straight at us at a cat five. So I may or may not be making videos from this location. But what I'm doing today is uh, continuing my hurricane preparation. This tripod is going into the attic and I'm going to put on it another gable antenna that I'm going to use for my SDS 100 uh, scanner. And uh, then I'll show you some other things. I'm making sure I am prepared to be able to follow, listen, communicate, etc. Not sure what we're going to do if it's Cat 5 and coming at us. The XYL and I haven't made that decision yet. We still have about 24 hours before we have to make that call. If it's going to be Cat 5 coming at us, we'll likely vacate the property because our 30 plus year home uh, is really not built for that. We'll probably go to a local shelter or perhaps go further inland to some family. If it's uh, going to continue on its path towards the panhandle, we're going to stay put and uh, we'll ride it out and I'll have all of my communication gear live. I'll show you some of that, how I'm preparing and what I will be doing. Here's a look at my 73 foot NFED reference antenna. It goes to that concrete light post just to the left of this large oak tree. And we're about 30 feet up in the air. I know you can hardly see the wire. You can follow it here just for a brief period of time. And if we actually get into hurricane force winds, I cannot leave that antenna up. So sometime in the next 24 hours, I'm going to have to decide, do I pull this antenna down? This antenna is a Chameleon Antennas uh, Cha Micro that I installed in a box. And it has been my reference antenna for better than two years. And it is a freaking fantastic antenna. I'm hoping I don't have to pull it down. Uh, because if we survive the hurricane, meaning our residents, I do not want to have to put it back up because getting it to the top of that light post is a challenge. But if that's what I have to do, of course, I'll give you a, a look at it so you can have fun watching me strain to get 30 feet up in the air and loop it over the top of that light post. What are we doing now in preparation for the hurricane? Well, if I'm forced to take my 73 foot end fed down, then we're going to go into the attic with a dipole that I installed there two years ago. I don't often use it, but now it needs to become my primary antenna. You'll get a look at it in just a minute. I also wanna take this GRA 3000 MII. I've not used this antenna before, but I'm going to try to set it up in the attic on this tripod and use this for my scanner. Let's see how that works out. And here it is, you got it. My HOA ham antenna farm has a Wolf River coil dipole in the attic of the garage space. I used the whips that came with the Silver Bullet Mini and I have it set up on, uh, well, it looks like I've got it set up on 40 meters. We're going to uh, get the analyzer on it. I'm going to put it on 20 meters so I can follow the hurricane watch net. And uh, I guess then, uh, since I have a single band antenna at that point, if I need to go up to 40 meters late in the evening, I'll use my tuner. Don't like to do that, but I will. Let's get up here, get the analyzer on it, make sure that we're good at 20. Okay, after all the monkeying around and crawling in the attic space, here's where we are on 20 meters. Let me show you what the meter is reading. Go to the light. Yes, I'm crawling, so sorry for the bad shaky camera work. <laughs> All right, focus, focus, focus. 1.46. We're going to roll with that. And why, yes, there's another antenna in my antenna farm. Uh, we'll talk about that one some other day. 
Now let's see if we can get our antenna set up to use for our scanner. So here's our GRA 3000 set up on the gable tripod, which I've talked a great deal about, right? So here's one of those actual use cases where it shows off its versatility. So I've not used this antenna before. It is a very broad receive only antenna. We're going to hook it up to our uh, scanner and see if that will be better than the rubber duck that came with the scanner. I'm guessing so. This is only my second feed line that you're seeing me here use in the garage attic space. I actually have five. One, two, three, five. Yes, I have five feed lines coming into the attic space. I do not have them hooked up to five antennas simultaneously, but I do have a total of five feed lines and I normally have two hooked up at the same time and then depending on what I'm testing, using, or needing, like now, I need emergency communication capabilities in a very severe weather event. So I'm using my, um, my attic space woofer recoil dipole, and then we're going to use this scanner antenna. So Murphy's made a few trips to the Hughes home recently. Uh, you haven't seen a video from me, at least not a new one that's been produced in the last three weeks. And that's because my shack was completely torn down. And what you have right now is just a glimpse of the new shack. I don't have any of my AV equipment set up, so I'm holding the camera by hand. Sorry for the shakiness. We had a water incident in the home and I was forced to move the shack. So everything I'm doing right now uh, is in preparation for the future shack location, future studio location. And then Murphy shows up and decides to send a tropical storm that's headed for a Cat 5 hurricane our way. So yesterday and today has been a frantic attempt to get operational on the FT991A. You saw me put the GRA uh, antenna in the attic to use with my scanner, as well as set up my Wolf River coil dipole to try to get that connected to the 991A. So let me see if I can locate both of those feed lines here on the back wall. I'll flash a picture of the box that I put there from MFJ to organize. But the problem is uh, my organization time has been cut short and now it's let's find these lines and get them hooked up and operational. Here's the FT991A connected to the Wolf River coil dipole in the attic space. It's not as effective as the 73 foot NFED, obviously, but in an emergency situation, it will do. Uh, one of our bigger problems is that the management of opioids as a class, because we're always. Radio check is KO4 RDI. QTH is 12 miles south of Wikiwachi. Do our 555. Thanks, friend, for the radio check 73. The unit in SDS 100 is now on the antenna in the attic space, and I have it on the wall charger, so it is permanently turned on with the screen on permanently all throughout the duration of this tropical storm and possible Cat 5 hurricane. Take back, give me a welfare check with a disturbance on people, Omerton. Unit just running 10689 Omerton Road for a uh... Welfare check, flash disturbance, bring. All flashlights have fresh batteries. The generator is gassed up and ready to go. We have plenty of water. Emergency communications are all set and ready to go. We are not located in the flood zone, and we know our evacuation zone. So now it's stay safe, make good decisions, and we'll talk to you soon, friends. 73.